Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll take you through this part replacement repair one step at a time. To replace the front panel in your GE dryer, you will need a drill driver with a quarter inch bit, needle nose pliers, a number one square head bit, and a number two square head bit. Before you begin the procedure, unplug the power to the appliance. Unthread the two screws on the strike plate to remove it. Unthread and remove the bottom screw on each hinge. Then loosen the top screw on each hinge. Lift the door up and away from the screws. Remove the remaining door screws. Unthread the two screws and remove the blank plate. Unthread the five screws on the panel. Any missing screws can be ordered through the links in the description below. Pull out and lift the panel from the backsplash. Detach the ground wire. Unthread the two screws that secure the backsplash. Pull the backsplash back and lift up to free it from the dryer. Note the orientation of the wires. Detach the purple, brown, and red wires from the start switch. Now detach the red wire from the signal switch. Detach the purple, yellow, and red wires from the timer. Detach the blue, yellow, brown, and bottom orange wires from the temperature switch. Detach the brown and white wires from the resistor. Unthread the two screws securing both of the top panel plates. Detach the solid brown wire from the purple wire. Feed the wires through the panel. Unthread the two screws on the top of the panel. Then unthread the two screws under the lip of the door threshold. Lift the top panel from the appliance.
Unthread the two screws that secure the front panel. While supporting the front, unplug the two wire harnesses. Lift the panel off the three tabs and move it to a flat surface. Unthread the two screws that secure the drum support. Unthread the two pan head screws, then flip the panel. Release the retaining clips from the panel. Now release the tabs from the panel. Pull the drum support up and out of the panel. Pull back each side of the panel and lift out the assembly. Depress the tab on the switch shield while pushing in on the switch to release it. Squeeze the sides of the shield to remove it from the panel. To install the new front panel, compress the sides of the switch shield together and insert it into the panel. Then insert the door switch in the slot and snap it in place. Tuck each side of the assembly in until it's seated. Guide the dryer socket assembly through the panel. Then align and slide the support into place. Push the support down to secure the tabs. Insert the four retaining clips into the panel. Flip the assembly over and rethread the two screws to secure the support. Rethread the two screws to secure the support. Set the front panel on the three tabs. Then plug in the two wire harnesses. Push the panel forward, then secure it with the two screws. Hook the back of the top panel and adjust until it's aligned. Set the panel on the appliance and feed the wires through.
Rethread the two screws under the door threshold. as well as the two screws on the top of the panel. Reattach the solid brown wire to the purple wire. Slide the top plates into position and secure with the two screws. Reattach the white and brown wires. Reattach the blue, yellow, brown, and bottom orange wires into the temperature switch. Reattach the purple, yellow, and red wires into the timer. Reattach the red wire into the signal switch. Reattach the purple, brown, and red wires to the start switch. Set the backsplash back into the dryer slots and push forward to lock in place. Rethread the two screws. Reattach the ground wire to the panel. Insert the panel tabs into the slots on the dryer. Rethread the five screws. Rethread the two screws to secure the strike plate to the door panel. Start rethreading the two top screws for each door hinge, but leave them loose. Rethread the two screws to secure the blank plate in place. Set the door hinges in place over the loose screws. Rethread the bottom screws on each hinge. Then fully tighten all four screws. Plug in the dryer. And your dryer should be ready for use.